Hey guys, uh, this is Dulu. So in this video we are going to talk about how to create files with the create function in the file class. And that's in namespace system.io. And you can see I've also added a couple of using statements for system.link and system.text. And these here are the different uh, overloads of that function. Uh, this will it will just take a path. This it takes a byte count, takes file options, and here it takes a uh, file security options. Okay, I have two files here. Uh, one actually this was for testing. We don't need that. That's what we're going to be creating later on. So I have uh, the file options. Uh, these are the different options uh, you can create a file with. And uh, I have lines here, which is just random text. I'm going to read uh, the lines and then and then try to create a file with that. And you can see I've initialized some of the uh, uh, the paths uh, and encoding for UTF-8 and the paths to write to. I have a couple of functions here that uh, you've already seen. This would will read all the lines in a file and then give me an array of it, a list of it, a list of the lines. And uh, this would read all the text in the file and just give me a, a, a string that uh, represents uh, the text in the file. So what I want to do is uh, just read this file, uh, read the text content, get it as a string, and then create a file and and write that uh, that information into it. So let's create a function to just uh, be able to create a file from some text. So let's try public public static. I don't want any return values. Let's call it create create file from text. Okay, I want it's going to need to take a path to know where it's going to write the text. It's going to take the text itself mm -hmm. and an encoding. Okay. All right. Now let's let's make this optional and if it's null we'll just make sure it's uh, it's UTF-8 so let's do if encoding is null let's say encoding is gonna be equal to So we took care of that. Okay, let's. Uh, so because uh, the file create function, the file create function uh, returns a file stream, and file stream uh, implements the disposable i disposable interface. So we can use it within a using statement. So file stream file stream fs is going to be file that create. So let's see let's see what the that function needs. It needs a path. So we'll just give it the path. Okay, let's close that paren. Open the angle bracket, the, the brackets here. Now, what we need to do is write the text of that file. Now, the, what we need are the bytes. So now let's get the, the bytes for that text. Uh, so what we can do is just define a local variable. Let's call it bytes. And using the encoding provided, we can get the bytes. Get bytes for for the text. OK. 
Okay. Okay. And in the same way, we can get the byte count. Okay, so now we can just write the bytes. Okay, we need a byte array, bytes. We need an offset. Yeah, we, we just want to start at the beginning. And we need uh, the size. And that's the size we got over there. It's a byte that count. Byte count. All right, so we got that. So now we have a function that creates a file from some text that we provided, and it creates it at the location we provided and using the encoding that we provided. So let's go in here and try to call that function. First of all, we need the text. So that's where we're going to use these functions here. Uh, we're going to use read all text function uh, to get uh, the text value of a particular file. So let's do var text equals read all text in file. And what we want to read, let's read the option option path and uh, let's give it the right encoding let's see f8 and then now we want to create create file from text and uh, let's give it the path let's do right to path okay let's give it a text uh, the text is what we just got and we don't have to provide an encoding because we want it in UTF-8 anyway. So let's go ahead and try that and see what we get. Okay, now the file is created and it has the same information that file.options has. All right, so this is how you would just create a file uh, using some text information that you got. Now. We can also do the same, do a similar thing if we had the files in the, if we had the, a bunch of lines, for example, a bunch of strings that we'd like to write to a file, and we had that in a in a list of strings, for example. So we can do write a similar function that will just get the strings, uh, put them into one text and then call this function to to write them to a file. So let's do that. We don't need any return value here either. So create let's create file from lines. Okay, similar thing here. Let's give it a path. Okay, it takes a list now. A list of strings, which are the lines. Let's just call them lines. Okay. We can do the same for the encoding. Sure, why not? Now all we need to do here is just turn that into a big piece of text. So let's do our final text. And 
let's just start with string dot empty. Okay, start with empty string. Now we're just gonna collapse the the text in that file. So for each line in lines we can do final text plus equal let's do some interpolation here okay now let's get the line and just add a, a return after it so it just goes to the next line. Okay. Now we have that. All we have to do now is just call the create file function. File from text function. Let's give it the path. Let's give it the text, which is final text here. And then we just provide the encoding. Uh, that was en. Okay. Now it doesn't matter if the encoding is null here because the function will take care of it. Now let's do the same thing by getting the lines. Read all lines in file. And uh, let's get the uh, text path. Okay, so now let's just create file from lines. I want to write lines to file. This path right here. Okay, and I want to give it the lines. And then give it UTF-8. So let's let's do that and see what we get. All right, we got to create it lines, and here we go. So as you can tell, it's it's fairly easy to create files in C sharp, and in this case, we've just used this, this overload of the function, but you can use the different other ones as well. You can look into the file options and the file security. So, if you have any questions, uh, just send them my way.